G'day, I'm Ben Dobinson from Dobinson's. Uh, I take care of all the research and development uh, for our suspension and accessories. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown on our MRA shocks, um, some of the components in them, and uh, some of the materials and stuff we've gone with to really make sure that they're the best shock we can offer. So, um, working pistons themselves, again, all designed um, in house by ourselves. So, from we start right in the, the CAD department, uh, and it's mainly modeling, looking at all the different criteria that we need to meet for the piston. So we wanna have good flow, um, compression and rebound. We wanna have a strong piston, um, and we wanna make sure that the piston's conducive to the damping we're trying to achieve. So once we're happy with the design, uh, we then got them CNC machined from some 6061 aluminium. Uh, well, that really gives us a super strong piston. Uh, it gives us the flow characteristics we were chasing and works really well with the damping that we're looking for. So looking at the wear band itself, um, again, we run a composite wear band rather than just a single material. So looking at the wear band, we want to have a good seal, but we also want to really keep our friction to a minimum. So uh, we ended up settling on a, a composite wear band. So it's a, a PTFE carbon fiber disulfide composite wear band. So when we done our testing on the wear bands themselves, this gave us the lowest uh, possible drag and, and friction while also giving us a good seal against the uh, inner surface of our main working bodies. So, so when you're looking at the, the pistons, um, the seals, the, the wear bands um, and the shockers in general, one of the critical things is really getting your friction to a minimum. So the lower you can get that friction and your drag coefficients in all the parts in the shock, uh, all the moving parts, that will really translate into a smoother ride. So you don't want to be trying to overcome huge amounts of friction, seal stiction, um, wear band stiction, and things like the, the floating piston sticking in the reservoir as well. So critical to get them friction levels down as much as possible. And that really allows you then to use your, your shock and use the damping and the shims to give you that nice ride quality rather than having unwanted harshness from too much friction and drag in the shock itself. 